this particular athlete has <laughs> really uh, caused a stir up not only in other people's lives, but in the NBA world. And if you don't remember, Kyrie Irving, I think well, about four or five years ago, um, claimed that the earth was flat. And then okay. other players rolled along with it, too. <laughs> and then Steph Curry came out and said that we never stepped on the moon. So you have two of the great point guards in our league that are completely, <laughs> completely lost when it comes to social studies and um, astronomy. <laughs> astronomy, I guess. All because, disproven by one satellite. <laughs> I mean, they're just completely <laughs> stupid, I, I guess. I, I mean, maybe their parents raised them completely wrong. And, uh, you know, I like Kyrie Irving because he's from the metropolitan area. He's from New Jersey. And uh, I root him on because he grew up a New York Knicks fan. He grew up uh, over here and, you know, where he played high school basketball was around this vicinity. So I root the guy on. But... Uh, a story came out in the last past week. Go ahead, Speedy. I am so disgusted right, with so, it. So Kyrie Irving said two different things in the last week or so. The first of which being that the NBA players should not play as a result of the social justice uh, mm -hmm. protests that they've been doing for a while. So mm -hmm. NBA players would be better off not playing because it spreads the message, and we've seen other players go along with it. And then I think just two or three days ago, he said that he doesn't want to come back at all, and he already announced that anyway. But he also thinks that the Brooklyn Nets should form their own league and not come back at all to the NBA playoffs in Orlando. The Brooklyn Nets. This, the this entire is, team, yes. This is the same Brooklyn Nets that uh, have been a terrible organization for really the last since 15 years. Since they moved years. to Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, for really. the last 15 years. Yeah. They haven't been good since Jason, Jason Kidd. I mean, last year they made the playoffs and they got knocked out. Uh, and, and then they decided to trade uh, Kenny Atkinson this year before the season's end. So that that's the same Brooklyn Nets that uh, uh, Kyrie Irving decided to go and play for and brought Kevin Durant there with him. So this is the same organization uh, that uh, practically had one of the worst trades in NBA history, uh, trading uh, trading for Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and uh, uh, the Jets for a bunch of first round draft picks practically for the last for the next 5 or 6 years. I think they spent I think the last draft was the first one they actually had their first round pick it, but it was a late one because it was from another team. <laughs> This organization's been a laughing stock. You talk about the New York Knicks and the way the New York Knicks have uh, really built their organization around James Dolan. Let's be honest. And I, I like Sean Marks. Uh, he's actually a relative. He's related to me. Um, oh, wow. Yes. Really? Yeah, like hmm. cousins, like past cousins. Hmm. I, uh, he's a smart GM. I don't like what he did with Kenny Atkinson. It made absolutely no sense why he fired Kenny Atkinson. This is the same Kenny Atkinson that took this team – to almost, I think, 16 or 15 games over 500 last year, and they made the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So it absolutely made absolutely no sense why he decided to um, move past the Kenny Atkinson era. And you could tell he was really growing with a lot of players, too, that were second-round Here's picks. the reason why. Yeah. Here's the reason why they fired him. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving has been a coach killer everywhere he has gone. Go up and down every single team he's played for, and it's only two teams. So, Well, yeah, the only one that didn't get fired was Brad Stevens. But if the Celtics fired Brad Stevens, what would they be doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, reason why, the reason why they traded Kyrie Irving is because they had to choose between him and Brad Stevens. Right. And they choose Brad Stevens. And God knows they made the right decision because right now, <laughs> if the season were to begin in the playoffs, the Boston Celtics would be... Either a three seed. They would be the second or three seed right now going into the playoffs. The same team that they had practically just with Kemba Walker. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they made the right choice keeping Brad Stevens over Kyrie Irving. And you're not going to fire a coach that at that time was probably top ten and then now is probably thought of as top five and is still very young. You're not going to fire a coach like that. Kyrie Irving has been a joke of the NBA. He is an unbelievable talent. Nobody's taking away his talent, what he can do on the basketball court. I, I think he's probably the best ball handler in the NBA. Probably, I mean, I'll, Allen Iverson said he is the best ball handler wow. he's ever seen. And that's Allen Iverson talking. Yep. And Allen Iverson was quoted as one of the greatest ball handlers of all time. He's the one who rediscovered the crossover. So, And he's the one who made Michael Jordan fall on his ass not once but twice. Mm -hmm. So... 
Uh, it's crazy when Allen Iverson says Kyrie Irving is the greatest ball handler he's ever seen. But nevertheless, this is the same guy that thought the earth was flat. <laughs> this is also the guy that has his own thoughts the way the NBA should be run and the way organizations should be run. He thinks because of his talent, he can run the, the Brooklyn Nets the way he thinks it should be run. Yeah. And, and, and you could say whatever you want about Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant went to the Nets because of Kyrie Irving. I think when you look back, when Kevin Durant looks back on choosing where he wanted to go, I think he's going to look back and rediscover himself and saying, why the hell did I pick the Nets over any other, te- other teams that I could have went to? Because I don't think he's going to win co- with Kyrie Irving. I really don't. And I, I, I think Kyrie Irving has been a cancer everywhere he's gone. Now, he won with LeBron James because LeBron James practically took <laughs> over the game. So now Kyrie Irving was a big part, and a lot of people want to right. say, well, Kyrie Irving was the one that hit the big shots in the big game. And he yeah. had 40 points in game six. I he think, was so, open yeah. half mm-hmm. the time because LeBron James was triple and double teamed. Right. So that's the difference. Kyrie Irving wasn't double and triple teamed. Now that doesn't take away how great Kyrie Irving is as a player. But for him to come out and speak up for the players thinking that he is the greatest player in NBA <laughs> history, it's a joke. Yeah, and we haven't seen him do it on his own. But Before LeBron came, the Cavs were a terrible team every year. What did he do this year with the Nets when he was on his own? Right, and the Nets were, again, a team that was staying afloat, but they, they weren't anything staying special. Staying afloat? Right. They were a borderline playoff team this year to a team that was, what was it, six seed or 50 seed last year? They were a seed last year. I think they were a 45-win team last year, and now I think they're right now either at 500 or, below, or a couple games below. I think they were like, uh, 12 or 13 games over 500 last year with Kenny Atkinson. Mm-hmm. Now this year, you, you have a, a coach that you, you don't even know who's coaching the team. You don't even know who's going to be taking over the team. I'm hearing Tyrone Liu. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, seriously, Tyrone Liu taking over for the Nets over Kenny Atkinson? I mean, it's a joke. I mean, it's an absolute joke. I can't see Sean Marks doing something like that. You but, can't see it. I mean, I mean he's if, the lead. He's the lead go getter on that. That, that ends up position. happening. That would be such a new low. Oh my god, Tyron Lue. That's what I've been hearing. I mean, they've been they've been trying to get Greg Popovich out of his contract and maybe um, making a trade where they can give up a first round for Greg Popovich. I don't think Greg Popovich is going anywhere with the San think, Antonio yeah, Spurs. I don't, I don't think he wants to coach anywhere else. I think he was thinking about retiring already for the last maybe two years or so, and he would only say with the Spurs. So if it's not Greg Popovich, who's it going to be? Tom Thibodeau, yeah, he's already on the radar for the New York Knicks, and, and, and everybody knows Tom Thibodeau. Uh, he's always wanted to coach the New York Knicks. So if he's on the Knicks' radar, he's going to wait and, and wait until the New York Knicks make a decision on where they want to go as far as their coaching position. So, and if I were the Knicks, if I were the Knicks right now, if you do, if you do bring in Tom Thibodeau, you bring in Kenny Atkinson as the, uh, um, the bench coach. Yeah, the bench coach. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if they'd ever do that. I don't why think not? Could, I don't think Kenny Atkinson would take that. I think he knows he could get another head coaching job. Really? Because I don't think there's going to be any head coaching jobs this offseason. So, I, and, and if, even if he does get offered a, a head coaching job, it probably won't be in this offseason. So, if he doesn't get a job, why not Kenny Atkinson go with Tom Thibodeau over there? He, they're both New York residents. They both grew up New York Knicks fans. And they were both part, uh, as an assistant coach, of the New York Knicks organization. I just can't see that. Just being high profile with a bunch of second round picks, all of a sudden downgraded to just an assistant coach. Yeah, maybe the option isn't there. But I also feel like there will be some coaches that are maybe of borderline teams, like average teams that would fire their coach because he's available too, though. I don't know about that. And I don't know if Kenny Atkinson's on anybody's radar going into this offseason. I'm sure he'll be interviewed by a bunch of teams. But all in all, I, I think Tom, if, if Tom Thibodeau is the guy and Kenny Atkinson is available, you bring him in as a bench coach. I, I think it would fit with some of the young uh, young players that they have, young point guards. I think he could help with Nilakina. I think he can help, he can help with... Uh, uh, some of the young uh, Smith, Barrett, yeah, yeah they, he can help with Smith. He can help with some of the the young, talented point guards that they have. And if they decide to draft a point guard in this year's draft, right. mm-hmm. he can help out with that point guard as well. So I, I think when you look at uh, Tom Thibodeau and and I'm going back to the the Brooklyn Nets, I mean, this is a complete joke. I, it really is. I, the whole Kyrie Irving thing, and 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 he's a he is the laughing stock of the NBA right now. And his smile, his smirk, and, you know, maybe you should go back with Uncle Drew or something like that. <laughs> because to me, 
I mean, there's more comedy. Uh, there's more comedy in that movie than it is in in his personal life. I mean, he's a joke. He's a complete joke. He should keep his mouth shut. He's making a mockery out out of a an organization that was just trying to figure themselves out. They were figuring themselves out. They were the talk of the town in the NBA last year because they landed him and Kevin Garner, uh, Kevin Durant, two superstar players, and they practically stole them for the New York Knicks. Right. And now the New York Knicks look like um, they look like superstars because they didn't land both of them. And even if Kevin Durant turns out to be half the player that he was, you don't have to deal with Kyrie Irving's crap. The other thing, what you're mocking too, is the concept of the NBA playoffs finally coming back. The, the fans have been missing it for a while. And now you're saying, oh, you want to go form your own league just because you don't want to play in the playoffs to, to protest? That doesn't make any sense either. So if they're going to play in your own league, who's joining you? <laughs> the whole thing is a joke. It really is. I... I I think he should be ashamed of himself. I think that when you look at the big picture right now or where the NBA is, and Adam Silver, I'll say this again, and I'll say it over and over again. He's the best commissioner in professional sports. Which isn't saying much. <laughs> no, but he is the best. And, and, and to me, if, if there's somebody I trust to figure this out and, and move forward with the NBA and the NBA season and shutting up the players, it's Adam Silver because I think the guy – is uh, the mastermind of where uh, the NBA is moving towards. And, and with the new TV deals that they're getting and the CBA deals that they're getting, uh, I think Adam Silver is right on the cusp of something great, just like mm-hmm. da- David Stern did for the league all those years. May, hope, may rest in peace. Yeah, you just got to hope that they don't have those big salary cap drops that, are, that were projected about a month ago, anywhere between 8 and $15 million per team, because that would hurt something Only like that. for the so, first year. I, no, you're right. It would probably get back to it, especially if there is a Because huge, of the COVID-19. And also, right, because there could be a huge boom in the TV ratings right away as well. So that could end up helping later on. But you're right. I, I think it'll be more of a two-year layoff where the players are not going to want to declare for free agency. They might just sign extensions because their max contracts wouldn't be as big. And that is something that, because we all know what free agency is in the NBA, it seems like it's everything now. That's why when I look at the big picture and try to compare and contrast what the NBA players are saying off the court and and some of the NBA players trying to get back on the court, it, it's it's kind of back and forth banter. And with LeBron James saying what he is saying, not w- only with the George Floyd situation, but wanting to come back to the NBA and, and having an NBA season and have a playoff run because he wants to win another title with Anthony Davis because you don't even know if Anthony Davis is going to resign with right. them next year. And and then you have Kyrie Irving saying that he doesn't want to play <laughs> and that the Nets should sit out for the rest of the season and tell the elite to kiss his ass. I mean, to me... It's a complete joke. It's a complete mockery. And that's why a lot of the ex-NBA players are calling him out, including Stephen A. Smith, which I completely agree with. Stephen A. Smith uh, is calling him out and calling Kyrie Irving out on some of the things and some of the mishap things that he has said, not only about the NBA, but about what he has said uh, about the crucial things that has stirred up. Not only things throughout social media, but people and magazines writing about some of the things in the the um, crazy, yeah. yeah, the crazy things that he is bringing up. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, with the NBA, for once you actually agree with Stephen A. Smith on something. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, because he's right, and I think that Kyrie Irving's out of his mind, and I think he needs a lot of help. I think he, I think somebody. Well, we always needs knew a, he was moody, but this is just an extra level. No, no, of I that. think I think <laughs> I think Kyrie Irving needs a lot of help. I think there's there's a lot of mental issues uh, wrong with this man, and I think uh, if his father and mother can't help him, somebody needs to. Because uh, uh, there's something wrong with this guy. Uh, I mean, the fact that he thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> and then coming out and saying uh, that uh, the Nets should create their own league. I mean, uh, what, what is So they're going to the practice Nets. scrimmage, basically? The what Nets. are they going to do? Yeah, the Nets are going to be their own practice scrimmage. This isn't the Lakers. This isn't the Celtics. This is the Nets. Even so, it's one team. Mm. <laughs> you don't have a league with one team. That doesn't work. Good job, Kyrie. 